from uh, 1985 until the, uh, the death of Inge Morat, which was in 2001. We traveled three or four times a year to the United States and we always lived with the couple uh, in their house. They have a, uh, had a house in Roxbury, Connecticut, which was something like two hours outside of uh, New York. And there we worked on books. And it was very interesting for us to see how this couple worked together, because Arthur Miller as a writer and Inge Morath as a photographer, um, I think they both valued each other very much. Um, Inge Morath uh, you know, showed the layouts and pictures to Arthur, and very often Arthur Miller would just very briefly look at the work, and you had the impression he's not really paying too much attention. But then, from time to time, in the end, he would write a text about her work, and then you could see he looked very careful at the pictures and he knew something to say about it. And the other way around it was, I think, even more, because Inge was a very, Inge Morath was a very good writer when she was young, before she came, became a photographer. She spoke six languages, and most of these languages she spoke as fluent as any native speaker. And amongst these languages were these strange languages like Mandarin, Chinese uh, language, or Romanian, which is a very unusual language in Europe as well. And she would read all his texts, and especially his plays, and you know, give him ideas and uh, discuss them with him. And I think Inge Morath did this even more uh, than Arthur would pay attention to her work. I think that's a little typical of this time, that the woman always was the one who was more caring and the man was a little bit more self-centered and I think that was very true to these people as well. No. Uh, very often um, in the beginning of an artist's career you see in a very sharp and precise way what uh, his whole art is about. And Inge Morat made a picture in 1951 of an elegant English lady going out with a car for a drive and she, Inge, asked to, to be allowed to make this photograph and the lady was very elegant and said okay but you just have a minute something like that and so when she came out sat into this car uh, Inge came up to her to make this photograph and then she saw the driver just opening the door for the lady and looking already a little angry because things are going on and in the background you see two persons very typically English dressed persons passing by and they are just passing in the right angle not behind the driver and not behind the lady just in between and in the background you see the long alley going to Buckingham Palace and all these three figures the elegant lady looking you know elegant <laughs> and the driver looking a little angry and the two persons form a perfect composition and this composition is known in photography uh, as a decisive moment because it could only have done in this second. And you can see it in this picture, the second later and second earlier, the picture would be dead. But this is exactly uh, as it should be. And that's why I like this picture a lot.